All right, news break coming in in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Our both Manu, Abhishek Manu Singh, we seat in Rajya Sabha as well as Sukhwinder Sukhu's government in Himachal in danger. Sources suggest six Congress MLAs besides two independents have been moved to Panchkula, Haryana by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let me repeat this for you. Six Congress MLAs plus two independents have been moved to Panchkula, Haryana by the BJP. Only 34 Congress MLAs present in Shimla. What's the halfway mark? At least where the assembly is concerned, the US is 35. This is one shot. But uh, I want to cut across very quickly to Manjit Segal to get us a larger understanding on what really is going on, uh, Manjit, right now. The counting was stopped a while ago. I believe uh, what's happening is it's moving towards a tie. Uh, is it confirmed? What's going on? Give us details. Uh, well, Preeti, county seem, counting seems to have been paused after BGP raised uh, the objection that one Congress MLA was flown from Chandigarh. He represents the Chintpurni Assembly constituency. BGP has alleged that uh, the state government, uh, particularly the Chief Minister, misused the government machinery to bring the MLA uh, to, to cast his vote. So, BGP tried to create a ruckus as well. The counting is being done. Uh, behind me at this uh, library building here uh, within the complex of uh, Himachal Pradesh Assembly. It is still not known mm -hmm. uh, uh, w what the results will be, but the Congress and BGP tried their level best. BGP had claimed that at least nine party MLAs uh, uh, mm -hmm. have cross-voted in their favor. Well, uh, nine the, party uh, right now, but what we are getting that, in, Manjit. At least two independent MLAs. Manjit, you are saying sources say nine right now? Is well, this... uh, six... Six have been moved, plus two MLAs, six Congress MLAs, plus two independents have been six. moved to Panchkula by BJP. Six Congress MLAs, including two independents, have been moved to Panchkula, somewhere in Panchkula. They are in touch with the BJP. This is what the BJP is now claiming. Uh, only mm -hmm. uh, only uh, 30... Six MLAs are in Shimla. This is what we are being told. Meanwhile, the counting is still uh, under process. Uh, the results are to be announced anytime soon. Okay. All we know that Congress leaders were also fearing that cross-voting can take place. Uh, CLP meeting was held in Shimla yesterday. All MLAs were told to be present. All MLAs were also particularly told okay. to vote in favor of Abhishek Manu Singhvi. Uh, they were also told that they will have to show their ballot papers after casting the vote. But Otherwise, it is an open ballot system. Invalid. It is oh, an open the, ballot system, uh, so they have to show their vote to uh, uh, an agent, a polling agent of their own party. I'm going to come right back uh, to you. Just stay on with us, Manjeet. Uh, there's more news break coming in from Karnataka. Karnataka counting has ended. The BJP candidate, Nara Yansa Bhangre, wins with 47 votes. BJP JDS candidates... Kupendra Reddy gets 36 votes. All three Congress candidates win in Karnataka. Ajay Makan, Nasir Hussain win with 47 votes each. Congress's G.C. Chandra Shekhar wins with 45 votes. Very interesting uh, where Karnataka was concerned. The BJP and the JDS had put forth another candidate, but that joint candidate has not made it. The Congress has managed to hold on to its own. Not only that, but also there's been cross-voting from the Bharatiya Janata Party to the Congress. And this uh, result is something that the Congress will take a lot of heart in. There were only four seats or four vacancies, four seats or four vacancies from the Congress uh, in Karnataka. The BJP JDS had fielded an extra joint candidate and there was a cause for concern within the Congress there could be cross-voting. That hasn't happened. This is a win for the Congress. They've managed to hold on to their stock. D.K. Shiv Kumar practically acting like a poll agent to keep his stock together. All smiles today. Listen in. Cut across to Nagarjun before we dip into the press conference uh, by the Congress there. Nagarjuna, not bad for the Congress, will take heart, at least uh, in Karnataka, managed to get all three candidates into the Rajya Sabha, uh, the joint candidate of the BJP and the JDS right now losing, and uh, a good day for the Congress, where Karnataka's skills are not so good with what's going on in Himachal. Well, that's true. In fact, uh, Mr. D.K. Shukumar was having all smiles in the afternoon when he realized that it's only Karnataka that giving Congress a sure shot win. Three Rajya Sabha candidates of the Congress have won today. 47 votes.
47 votes and 45 votes to three can Congress candidates. The BJP candidates has won with 47 votes. The joint NDA candidate, Mr. Kupendra Reddy, has lost with 36 votes. The minimum needed was 45. I have Mr. Srinivas of the Youth Congress. Uh, your three candidates have won. How do you feel about the rest Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Himachal? क्रॉस वोट किया है बट कर्नाटक में ऐसा चमत्कार क्या हुआ कि बीजेपी के विधायक क्रॉस वोट हुए कर्नाटक में आपको पता है जो पूरा वोट रहा ये मिलेस के ऊपर बहुत बड़ा भरोसा था और सबसे पहले कल भी एक मॉक वोटिंग हुआ इस तरीके से खुद पीसीसी प्रेसिडेंट भी एजेंट बनके बैठे तमाम ये इस पे और बीजेपी में बहुत कोशिश किया पैसे का काम करने का अप्रोच करने का कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ा बट यहाँ वर्क नहीं हुआ बट आपका क्या ऐसे मैजिक किया कि उन्होंने क्रॉस वोट किया आपकी तरफ ये यही तो है गारंटी स्कीम वर्क हुआ क्या कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी फंड दिया क्या कुछ टिकट देने का कुछ बीजेपी दुनिया में कुछ भी कर सकते हैं बट उनका कर्नाटक में उनका जो भी स्ट्रेटेजी है फेल हो जाएगा चंद्रशेखर अजय मेकेन नाजीर हुए सहित नाजीर हुए अधिकृत जन कूड़ा बदलने रोडारे एलेक्षन कमीशन नम रिंग आफीसर कल्सकोतर अदले अफीशियल डिक्लेर् कांग्रेस पक्ष ईक्यूद तमेंगे मनवरक आते ना बेरे पार्टी बैठे नानक होगी दुड तंत्र दुरुपयोग प्रयत्न आमिष ओडली प्रयत्न यहा मतदार कीलदे स्वाभिमान मतव को नम अभ्यर्थी धारे नाना शासक नम नायक नम कार्यकर्त ताव बहुत अभिमानी ताव मध्यम बहुत विचार जन प्रचार तब कान अभिनसी नम एल शासक मुख्यमंत्री नेतृत्व में मलिकार्जुन खर्गे साहेब नम राज्य अध्यक्ष सुर्जेवाला नम जनरल सैक्रेटरी नम ट्रेजर इवत नम दहल नम पक्ष ट्रेजर सीनियर नायक सो सोनिया गांधी राहुल गांधी नाम मलिकार्जुन खर्गे साहेब समर्पे ना प्रयत्न ोट Uh, Mr. Uh, Syed Nazir Hussain has got 47 votes, and Mr. G. C. Chandrasekhar has got 45 votes. The BJP also polled 47 votes, and JDS polled 36 votes. So all of them had the required quota of uh, 4,500 uh, points, which they have to get. So they have got the required quota, and all of them have been elected at once without any second round. So I would like to thank all my uh, voters. From my chief minister to all my legislators who work very hard, and my in charge general secretary, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, our uh, Sujeewala ji, and I thank my ACC president also. He was very cautious on this. He was he had warned us on various issues. So we have looked at it. We have looked at it. My general secretary organization also had called me in a several number of times, but nothing has went wrong. Everything has went out in a very smooth way. I would like to thank my Sonia Gandhi ji and Rahul ji for giving ticket to all these uh, three congressmen of the state of the country who have worked hard for the party. Six cross votes have happened in the past. I don't want. To, I don't want to discuss. I don't know anything. My general secretary is there. You can ask him whatever you want. Uh, friends, first I congratulate Shri Ajay Makhan. <coughs> Dr. Nasir Hussain and my friend uh, Mr. G. C. Chandrasekhar. I also laud the efforts, commitment to ideology, commitment to principles, commitment to character, commitment to democracy of the Congress legislators and all other supporting legislators 
who made this victory possible. This is a decisive victory, as I said in the morning, for democracy. This is a decisive victory for India. This is a decisive victory for the Swabhimana of 6.5 crore Karnadigas. And this is a decisive defeat of those who want to corrupt the democratic process by, by the sale and purchase of legislators. I ask Shri J.P. Nadda, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, as also Mr. Yadurappa and Mr. Vijendra today, and Mr. Kumar Swami, why is it when you did not have the requisite legislators, why did you put up a, a tycoon who had loads of money in the hope that he or will be able to buy the loyalty and vote of legislators who are elected by people of Karnataka? This itself was a brazen insult to the mandate given to legislators by 6.5 crore fellow Kannadigas. I am happy that legislators of Karnataka have demolished this conspiracy to tarnish democracy. They have rejected Ayaram Gayaram politics. They have rejected the politics of purchase and sale of MLAs by BJP and now by Mr. Kumar Swami and his party. So this is in many ways a victory not for the Congress party alone, not only for Shri Siddharamaya, Shri D.K. Shivkumar, for all the Congress legislators and our candidates, but this is a victory of the common Kannadiga. The common Kannadiga proved it in the council elections recently when they decimated the unholy alliance of the BJP and Janta Dal, and Mr. Putanna was decisively elected. They have again defeated and rejected the unholy alliance of BJP and Janta Dal, who was seeking to buy votes of the legislators. I thank each and every one who a, participated a, in this process. Sir, I also thank all our legislators and colleagues, and I once again uh, thank Mr. Siddharamaya, the CLP leader, I thank Mr. D.K. Shivkumar. I thank our All India Congress Committee President, Shri Malikarjan Khadge, without whose guidance this victory was not possible. Sir, is this is a victory of principles, of ideals, of democracy, and of morality, and of numbers. Sir, do you think it's an embarrassment for the alliance of the for the Congress? Sir? Congress party has taken note of the same. Uh, our in charge, Mr. Rajiv Shukla is taking stock of the situation. Very soon, either Mr. Jairam Ramesh or Mr. Rajiv Shukla will be making a statement in this regard. Sir, it's your consecutive win in Karnataka, second time, after the teacher's constituency. Do you call it an embarrassment for the alliance? You are calling it an unholy alliance of the BJP and the JDS? And how it affect you in the Lok Sabha, sir? How this is the third consecutive victory, my dear. The first one...